Centennial Park in Narawahia is the venue. It's a round six catch-up match in the ASB Premiership between resurgent Waikato FC and Auckland City FC. You can see there the new coach, Mark Cozzi, has achieved back-to-back -back wins for his charges. It hasn't been an easy time for the club. While Ramon Trebuliac has more or less a full-strength side, there's no Takuya Iwata in that lineup. And Auckland City will consider this a, a difficult time to come up against Waikato. They thrashed Otago six goals to one at Forsyth Bar Stadium just before the festive break. And they will be eager to keep that winning sequence going. Jasper for Francini. We are snapping away at his heels. Now across, and there's a shot from Koprasic. 1-0 to Auckland. We've had barely four minutes. And the Navy Blues are one goal to the good. And it's Danko Koprasic with a wonderful right foot volley. The cross was from Andrew Milne. This will give uh, a good account of what exactly happened. It looks as though it took a deflection off Dave Parkinson. And Matt Upton was uh, rooted to the spot. He couldn't do anything about that. Riera. Now Milne. Belanga, impressive at the FIFA Club World Cup. Angel Belanga. Chris Bale. It's still uh, this slow build up by Auckland City. Okay, starting to press, looking for the ball. Now Tamadi Williams. Here's the clearance, and uh, it hasn't gone uh, far enough, and a chance for Waikato to attack through Margots. Oh, what a strike by Sam Margots. And it came from a mistake by the goalkeeper, you have to say, and Margots with a beautiful finish. Free kick comes in, it's Vesalic, and oh, and a great save. Wonderful save by Upton. He's kept Waikato in the game. Fenerides with a cross. It deflects and, well, Jasper was the player who hooked it clear. It's back with Fenerides. And uh, let's take another look at uh, this crucial save from Matt Upton. It was a beautifully uh, flighted ball into the penalty area. Vissilich rose high, beat his marker. And there's the touch from Upton onto the post. Excellent piece of goalkeeping from uh, Matt Upton. So Waikato 1, Auckland City 1. And uh, that is half time. Referee Mirko Benishk has brought proceedings to a close. And goals for Daniel Koprasic after four minutes and Sam Margots on 31 minutes. Waikato will feel that uh, they've delivered another good half of football under their new coach. And plenty for Auckland City to think about. Riera. Belanga. Good ball for Tade. He's got uh, Exposito. Oh, and that's a wonderful goal. Exposito showing his class. It was Tade who teed him up but look at that finish and Auckland are back in front it's 2-1 here's Mill now with a cross and Koprasic number three superb cross from Andrew Mill and the finish was absolutely deadly by Daniel Koprasic he just took a step to the left of Hone Fowl. He gave himself that space and the finish was absolutely sublime. Auckland City lead by three goals to one. And that's a wayward pass from uh, Raymond Howe. Riera has set uh, Exposito away. Fowler can't catch him. Number four. And it's Exposito with a double. And that puts the game firmly in Auckland's grip. They lead Waikato by four goals to one. Two goals for Daniel Koprasic. Two for Manel Exposito. 
and it's three excellent points on the road for Auckland City and it's a uh, good start to 2013 for coach Ramon Trebuliac. Well, still some uh, feeling out there on the park, but uh, confirmation of the result. Waikato 1, Auckland 4. Ivan, uh, we got there in the end, but it, it was tough there for a wee while. Yeah, it was. I think we are a little bit rusty coming from uh, 13, 14 days break over Christmas. Everyone eating too much and probably having a bit of a jolly time. But, uh, you know, I think we showed our class in the second half. Really got some uh, very good goals. Uh, Waikato FC obviously had a change in coach, they picked up a couple of wins, were you looking at this game uh, with a little bit of caution? Yeah 100%, I mean they won the last two, two games, I think they scored about six goals, so they were, you know, in regard to that they were probably buzzing, you know, the feeling is good, the morale is good after two wins, so uh, coming into the game we, we, we trained really hard as much as we could just after New Year's and uh, really focused on getting the three points. Two players who got on the score sheet today. First, Manel Exposito, been struggling for goals in the domestic competition, and also Danko managed to get on the score sheet. Uh, very important to see them start to pick up their form. Yeah, and some nice goals as well. You know, some beautiful crosses from Milne, which was awesome. You know, for Manel, it's great. He's been working hard all season, and to now get a couple of goals is awesome. And Danko just keeps producing, you know, a bit of magic every game. So, you know, great to get the uh, attacking players on the score sheet. Now we face Canterbury on the weekend, uh, they're always title challenges, that's going to be tough down there. Yeah, I mean we're a bit of a disadvantage having the midweek game, but uh, you know, going to Japan obviously forces us to play some catch-up games and that's going to be very difficult for us to turn it around and, and make the away trip to Canterbury. They're always a good team and uh, hopefully they're also a little bit rusty from the break and uh, we've got these 90 minutes in our legs now, so we need to you know, get another good performance down there.